Hey, all right, this is Victor with Yellow Pine Plugs, and uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I'm going to do a handful of videos making fishing lures out of non-fishing material. Um, yes, I'm recording this on Christmas Eve. Um, here we go. So for this installment, or for this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bass jig. So... Um, most bass jigs, many bass jigs, are made with these silicone skirts, and then obviously a jig head. So what I'm going to do, and then, you know, there's different, there's all kinds of different ways to make them, different colored silicone available, different styles, um, all kinds of stuff. But what I'm going to do today is make a bass jig with rubber bands. So I do have um, fishing related a jig head. So what I have here is a, a poison tail jig head. I think this is probably a quarter ounce and then that would make this maybe a two aught hook, but that, that's kind of beside the point. So this is the actual fishing lure material that I have. And then, like I said, outside of that, I have a pack of rubber bands. So here goes nothing. It's kind of nice. We got different colors. Looks like yellow, blue, and red which gives us a little bit of variety here. Just sort some of these out. Now, a lot of jigs with the silicone skirts, um, oh, I don't remember. I think they're, oh, usually you use two, two of the skirt tabs for a full size skirt, and then you can use more or less, depending on what you want to do. So, this is this is a skirt tab, a bag of skirt tabs. Um, so they're super, super convenient, very easy to use. Um, but here we're doing something different. We're going to make our own. Now, in this pack of rubber bands, um, there's rubber bands of different lengths. There's rubber bands of different thicknesses, like this one is quite thick, this one is a little thinner. This one, the thinner ones, are actually closer to the size of the skirt material. They're still quite a bit thicker, which obviously will impact the action of, uh, of the skirt in the water, but that's okay. That's what happens when you do something different. So obviously this part of the video is kind of boring and I'll probably speed it up so that you don't have to watch me sort rubber bands. So. Alright, so I probably have enough bands picked out. I'm going to do... I guess I'm going to do something that kind of sort of resembles a bluegill-ish. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do blue, blue for the back, and then yellow for the belly with a little bit of a red accent down on the belly. So let's start snipping. I'm going to use mostly the thinner rubber bands because my my thought is that that'll produce the best action in the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I think these are too short for me to go like this in the middle. That might produce like a, a fuzzball type jig. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these. There you go. That's 
a little better. And then I'm going to pull out a couple more. I want this to be nice and thick. Um, Okay, so I've got 15, 15 blue rubber bands, which will be 15 strands for my back. So then for the belly, I'm going to do I'm just going to just going to do 5. This stuff's pretty thick, so yeah, I'm just going to do 5 for the belly. And then I'm just going to do a little accent of red. I don't really want much. So I will do just the two. But I might, I might leave these together because they're a little longer. Yeah, so I'm going to leave the red hole and then I'll just nip the two ends. So I got my rubber bands laid out. Laid out. I'm going to get a little bit of wire I have here. This is um, dark annealed steel wire. It's 24 gauge. I'm no jig making expert, but it works well. And it is consistent with some of the different stuff I've seen other people do on YouTube. Therefore, it must be the way to do it. So... All right, now one of the things that I have to remind myself whenever I'm making a jig is that this is the back. The top is the back, the bottom is the belly, because it's going to come through the water like this. So if I want these, if I want a blue back here, I lost all my bands. Just gonna lay this in about halfway. Make sure I move these up. Don't want these to be the belly spot, so I want to make sure they're on top. Okay, and then I think I'm just gonna lay out all of the bands before I wrap this. There's my red belly accent. So I got the bands in place. Then I'm going to get all this here. And then I'm going to scoot all of the rubber up a little higher. Because you'll see <coughs> this head has two collars, basically. One here and one here. This collar is for the rubber or the silicone if I was making a regular jig. And then this part here, this little barbed collar, is for the plastic trailer. So, oops, I lost my... So I'll lay this down. my time here because I'm not using a vise as you can clearly see and 
this is. This is a lot of material. Um, this stuff is really thick. So I'm just gonna do kind of a pre-wrap. It's gonna come around, I guess, twice. But I'm not tightening it at all yet. Okay, so now I got the wire in place. And then I will take a minute here to adjust the rubber band because I've got half the jig that doesn't have anything on it. And that's where all the belly stuff needs to be mostly. So I'll scoot that over. All right, better. And then same thing, I'll bring some more of the blue backs pieces around. I'm fairly happy with that in terms of layout. So I'll tighten this down by hand here. Okay. Now I'm going to come around with the wire one more time so we end up with three should be three full wraps of the wire and what I don't have with me today is my multi-tool so that's a problem So I'm twisting this by hand, and then what I'm going to do, I have these, these clipper cutter things, um, but if you'll notice, the jaws don't close completely, so that's going to make it difficult for me to grab this with those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist all the way up the wire, and then I'm going to try to kind of bunch up the wire thick enough so that I can get a hold of it with those clippers with the plier part of it so that way I can tighten it up against the collar and the tighter it is against the collar I mean obviously the more secure the rubber bands are going to be and then also uh, the wider they will flare out so there we go I got a pretty good grip on it so now I'm just pulling tight to pull out the slack in the wire and to really bring it down against the rubber bands and against that jig collar. Now the problem I see here with having done it a little bit farther into the process is I've already got one loop that didn't quite want to cinch down. So I'm going to try a little bit more here. <clears throat> okay, I did not get it, but this is just a jig for me, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And it's a rubber band jig, so I'm going to twist down to get the um, to get all this tightened up. You can see where there's the loop or that little gap here. I need to get that down against the jig. Two more twists. Okay. Alrighty. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut off the extra wire, leaving enough on here to then fold over it 
So this wire will keep things together pretty tight, pretty nicely. So once you get that pinched up against the jig body, you're set. All right, so now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna tease out my red belly accents and I'm gonna separate those. So here is our rubber band bass jig. If that's not a Medusa looking jig, I don't know. That's pretty crazy. So one thing that I thought I could have done is maybe almost use some of these thicker bands as trailers. Because now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to fully trim this. I want to leave it a little bit wild. Um, but like this is part of the top. That one's too long. So I'm going to cut that one off for sure. Let's see. So here's my... These are all my top bands, so I'll cut those. Just evenly, I mean not particularly evenly actually, I'll just leave it crazy. So, so here's our jig. The next question, of course, is what does it look like in the water? And that's what we're about to find out. So here's here's our jig. I don't know that I would ever call this a bluegill, but it's an approximation. So give me a break. But here we go. So I will trim these tail ones a little bit because they're sticking way past the, the base of the hook, way farther down than we need them. A lot of guys trim their jigs differently. I'm not enough of a jig fisherman to really give you any tips. One of my goals this fishing season is to um, gain a little bit of competence fishing with the bass jig, primarily because it's one of the most basic and often very successful techniques for jig fishing. So, so finishing touch, I'll do this before I get a little bit of water, is gonna be to glue in that weed guard so I got a little bit of gel super glue. I'm going to put it down in the hole. Not too much. I don't want it to squeeze out and get on um, get on all the rubber band strands. So they do have a little squeezage. Let me pull this out. Undo that. Okay, so while this sets up, I'm going to run and get some water, and we'll see what this thing looks like in water. I'm going to give it a little more time for the super glue to set up before we dunk it in the water.
that should be enough time. So I don't have a really good container. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop it into this jar of water and we'll see uh, we'll see how it looks. There you go. So you can see the rubber bands have quite a bit of movement um, just with the the minor shaking of my hands, um, those rubber band tentacles are vibrating pretty good. Um, it's a pretty full, pretty full look, I think. So now, unfortunately, um, it's December here in Illinois, which means uh, there will be no actual fishing. So probably come spring, I'll do a video uh, where I fish with all of the various non-fishing lure material lures we end up making so all right so that's our first one first non-fishing lure material fishing lure is the crazy rubber band medusa bass jig if you have any ideas for um, other non-fishing lure material materials to use to make lures uh, drop a comment and uh, I will be back. I've got a couple other ideas. There's certainly plenty of stuff, uh, plenty of stuff available. So happy fishing if you are somewhere you can be fishing.